hi welcome back to rebecca's travels so if you're watching my lifestyle channel welcome back to rebecca's lifestyle hi how are you all doing i hope you're having as good day as possible um today i'm going to be uh, doing a vlog on travel news 10 exciting facts budget travel facts november 2022 part two now this is according to my uh, nomadic Matt, england travel guide um kicking off with uh, number one at uh, see buckingham palace and um, only open to the public in the summer that it is so like june july august time uh, you can also see danger daily changing of the guards um at 11 p.m during the uh, the summer it also happens every other day throughout the rest of the year admission is free to see the um changing of the guards um because you can just see it on the outside and um, it is at £60 if you want to go inside at Buckingham Planet if you're on a budget though uh, you can go and see the gardens uh, for six, at £16.50 um, if you can't afford to to, um, spend the £60 to see uh, Buckingham Palace fully so, so there is that option or you can see um, changing of the guards and just the, at the outside of uh, Buckingham Palace etc uh, for free but not go inside and um, number two you could you can visit the Tower of London. It is expensive though to visit, £29.90. Be aware uh, though that, the, uh, that uh, the line is so long, um, it's best to plan ahead. So it's best to purchase um, a ticket um, in advance and plan your day ahead, then go last minute. Um, number three, you can relax. Uh, in Brighton, uh, great, it's a great town for a weekend getaway. You can uh, relax uh, for free on the beach. It is a great summer destination. Enjoy the fleeting summer sun. Uh, you can also wander around the pier for free. And um, On the pier, there are amusement rides and carnival style store and street uh, view, uh, street food. Um, I have got um, a video on Brighton, um, the beach and the pier, and um, at the British Airways, uh, what I uh, went on and. Again, I, I would really recommend going to Brighton. Plus, at night time, there's lots of bars and nightclubs and you can sit on um, the seafront. There's lots of uh, different opportunities for food. So, again, there's lots of things to do. You can even go uh, to one of, uh, one of the Brighton parks for free as well. Um, and there's um, amusements um, on Brighton Pier, amusement arcade, games arcade. So again, there's absolutely lots to do. And um, yes, I, I would really recommend it. There's also some uh, fantastic sculptures on the beach as well um, that are well worth visiting. You can see those for free as well. Um, number four, um, listen to music in Liverpool. Liverpool has a spectacular mu museum, but um, as the world's capital city of pop, the real reason to go is uh, obviously for the music. Um, 
um, for the bee beetles um, again um, which is a British uh, pop group and um, besides the music Liverpool has real history and uh, culture as well as um, fun pubs and other museums there's also uh, Liverpool which is my favourite uh, UK football team um, you can go and see one of the matches there's lots of bars nightclubs and um, again there's parks um, to visit as well so um, again there's lots to do and see especially the harbour as well um, and that and you can see that for free as well and um, number five check out uh, Chatsworth House Derbyshire I've been here as well um, with uh, my family um, and um, also with, with the school um, St Clair's I remember going on a, a residential trip to Dar at Derbyshire and uh, we have seen Chatsworth House there a massive mansion built in 1595 for the Duke and Duchess of Devonshire 25 stately rooms and 100 and five acre gardens there's also a farm yard as well admission to the whole property is 24 pounds uh, per adult anyway um number six uh, you can tour oxford university found in the 11th century oxford um is at uh, one of the oldest universities is in the world uh, you can also vin visit many beautiful colleges with ox with oxford uh, for just like a few dollars or a few pounds to get in you can stop stop in at in at the free ash malam museum on ca at campus for impressive eastern and ancient egyptian art collections so that would be absolutely fantastic and lovely. and i've been to oxford as well and it is a beautiful city and um, you've got some wonderful uh, shops and parks and yes um, i would really recommend it and it's seeing the university I seen the university on the outside and it, lo it looked absolutely fantastic, amazing. Um, number seven, attend the festival, especially join, uh, join the summer, there's lots of festivals especially going on in the summer for music, a Glastonbury Festival, Liverpool International Music Festival, UK has three huge pride events in London, Brighton and Manchester, um, this is just at the iceberg um, as every city and town um, has um, lots to offer, Loughborough in Leicestershire at uh, fair started uh, today and it's going on until saturday and it is a large massive fair there's also a large uh, massive outdoor market there's some stalls um according to what mum and dad uh, said uh, there today um but again if you want uh, again want to experience the fair um, in the Midlands or you're around the Midlands then Loughborough Fair is in November and again it's uh, well worth a visit especially um, if you want to entertain children um, or you have to, uh, teenagers to, uh, to entertain um, also adults can go to and um, so um, again it's well worth going um, even if you want to just have a look round at the rides and not actually go on there's also other stalls uh, such as candy floss and um, etc and other games 
um, so you don't it's not just all rides um, number eight at uh, sea stonehenge uh, just 15 minutes from a drive from salisbury one of the oldest uh, man-made structures um, in the world dates back to, uh, to 2500 bc admission is 19 pound 50 off peak and uh, 21 pound 50 a peak season ticket again it's cheaper if you can to travel off peak at £19.50 which is say November at the moment than to travel peak season in like July August time number nine uh, you can visit Old Trafford Manchester it's home of uh, the football stadium which contains a famous club theatre sports arena there's also an online museum and it's £25 to go in. And uh, number 10, um, Admire Eli Cathedral, also known for the Ship of the Fens. Uh, the cathedral is, you can see the cathedral everywhere in the small city. It's just a very, uh, well, just a small city, Eli, in Cambridgeshire. I built in the 12th century a visit to the cathedral is only eight pounds or a combination um, to the museum and the cathedral is only 12 pound 50 so again that's again another cheap day out or if you haven't got um the, mo the money to go inside and then you can still see the sights from the outside and uh, like take pictures and videos of the sights on the outside even though you haven't got the money to go in the inside um, so I would like to, to places uh, that obviously you have to pay for to get in so i would like to say thank you for watching and thank you and bye for now and i'm going to be doing a budget destinations tomorrow so please keep watching and thank you and bye for now thank you bye